I have to say, it's just so amazing to see how everybody is meeting everybody. I've, I've, I've seen long lost friends from a lot of years ago seeing each other again for the first time, and uh, I'm seeing a lot of uh, a lot of alumni, a lot of students, and yeah, I'm not sure if you have anything in common to talk about, but you do, since let me tell you, students, you would learn so many things about like things you shouldn't learn about. Uh, you just talk to the alums. I mean, you have to just sort of pair you up. Just don't write any of the stuff down. Um, but yeah, I've learned about a lot of interesting things. Uh, everybody seems to want to share them. So there's only really two things I want to do now, because they'll be talking later outside. I know it's a little chilly. It's, as they say, sweater weather. So you'll be fine with that. Um, but we'll, we'll go out and do that. And that'll be the sort of the formal occasion. Right now, it's a little more informal. Um, I, and so I'll actually thank people more out there um, right before that event. So I want to do just two things. The first one um, is I want to acknowledge uh, a very special uh, alumnus who's uh, joined us today. Um, first of all, before I do so, is, is Heather, Heather's right there. Okay. So I want to uh, introduce you to someone who I think many of you, you know, might know his name. And that is Tate Holt, who is standing right there. <laughs> And Tate, I'm going to have to embarrass you because we have something for you. So if you could uh, come on up. So. My diploma. Yes, my diploma. <laughs> final, exactly. So I'm going to let uh, Heather uh, read this, but um, we have successfully nominated uh, Tate Holt for a bicentennial medal, which is presented by the president of the university, Michael McRobbie. Um, and, and by the president, so it, it's kind of fitting that it be then be presented by the president of Collins. So I leave it to Heather to read the, there you go. Okay. Indiana University Bicentennial Medal presented to Hamilton Middle Initial Holt the <laughs> third. <laughs> Given during the Bicentennial Celebratory Year in recognition of distinguished and distinctive service in support of the mission of Indiana University. And it's signed by Michael and McRobbie. Wow. Yeah, and there's a letter from Michael McRobbie himself. Yeah. <laughs> Surprise. Um, uh, yes. So I, let me just tell you what that what that medal is. Um, it is made from bells of the, uh, that were, I guess, these ones in the student building? Yes, thank you, student building, thank you. And they were melted down to make bells, which have been presented to a number of distinguished alumni um, and others who've done, who've given service to the university. And when I heard about this, I was hearing from the students how much they were impressed by what you did to organize students to save these buildings and to create the LLC 47 years ago, 48 years ago. And it was clear to me that you were somebody we really wanted to honor. So thank you very, very much. Thank you so much. Well, first of all, thank you. I'm touched. I'm, this is a complete surprise. Um, a total surprise. <laughs> and I had a chance to talk with a couple of people earlier today. and. It's so interesting, the time warp uh, when I was here. So I, I came here to swim as part of the swim team, and all the swimmers lived here, so we could walk to Royer Pool. And I got here right after Woodstock, and I left right when Watergate was winding down. And I look at today, and there's sort of this full circle. <laughs> My mentor in college, I was an indifferent student my freshman year, and uh, then I met Carl Ziegler, who was my German prop, and he became a good friend and a good mentor. And uh, he was the director here for a number of years, and again, the synchronicity is just stunning to me how this all works, but uh, I am grateful to have had the opportunity to move the needle and uh, get some people motivated back in the, uh, when this place was at risk. And uh, 
sort of amazed with what you all have done with it since. So it's nice to be a nice little sliver of the pie as it keeps rotating. And uh, I don't know, we're all interconnected and I really appreciate this, thank you. The only other thing I want to do, I know that many of you have noticed the uh, the history boards here. So I, if you haven't, I just want to draw your attention. These are brand new thing, and they're also part of the bicentennial uh, celebration. Um, I don't see Aaron Sizemore. Is he there? He is. I'm working on. Sorry, right through here. So Aaron, who is this year's Collins historian, um, and picked up on the amazing work that Nicole Strauss did last year which brought the marker into being. Uh, that's kind of a tough act to follow, but Aaron totally has shown his ability to do so. Um, this work was his over the summer and since, and if you haven't spent some time on it, I mean, as a historian, I certainly appreciate a poster that even has footnotes. <laughs> that's pretty good. Um, so enjoy that. You can master all of Collins' history right there. Um, so please join me and give me a round of applause to Aaron. Right, continue to party in about 10 minutes we'll give you the, the hint that we're going to do I mean, you pretty much covered it yeah um, it's a culmination of my work over the what, what oh, I, I, yeah. <laughs> oh boy Mike okay um, so yeah basically last year as a freshman I became very interested in Collins history through my Q class and I thought hey for my Q project I'll do a timeline and eventually I started coordinating with the historian at the time, Nicole Strauss, and the project just got sort of passed along to me. And um, so yeah, it's the culmination of uh, summer and a bit of last year. Uh, there's two more to come, and please let me know if you have any questions, comments, I'd love to hear your feedback, thanks. into you know saving this from becoming office space um, and bringing the Living Learning Center to to this space um, so we did in the archives find yes. the letter from Tate um, for the petition um, to get signatures from residents here to save the buildings um, and so then the signature pages are there and then also a letter from Don Bell who was the first um, director also so just wanted to point that out so you can have a look at that um, and if you find your name on there, then a glass of Ralph Collins, which is our actual mocktail, is on me. <laughs> All right, enjoy, and in about 10 minutes, we'll give the signal to start moving downstairs. Okay.